Usually when we play music together, we like to record it. This weekend, we were like, you know what, would be really cool. What if you had a cool 360 audio device or something like that? We kind of evolved into like, oh, binaural audio. What is binaural audio? Anyways, well, binaural audio, it translates literally into two-eared, you know, from the perspective of your ears audio. And you actually can get binaural microphones, which actually look like two little ears. And they're really cool, but they're a little expensive. They're about 600 bucks. But one of the materials with the Form 2 is a flexible material. I haven't used it yet, but I'm figuring I could probably make my own binaural microphone by printing out flexible 3D printed ears and using our tiny little lav microphones placed inside each one. We'll see where this goes. Climate change as a result of human activity is responsible for the exponential increase in global temperature. From extreme to even worse if that's possible, California suffers through an unprecedented drought that we've been covering over half the state, now facing the most severe conditions. Yeah, it's been a drought not only in Southern California but also down here in the studio. Uh, when we were over in Studio 5, I don't know, some bottles got lost in the transition and we've been out of water for a couple weeks now. It's not good. I've been going over there to steal whatever I can get, you know, coming back with gallons at a time. I've been stealing monsters from over there. I mean, I just don't know what to do, man. I'm parched. I have taken my ear 3D model of choice. Six hours and 19 minutes. So basically it's an ear, it's a small square plate on the back, and then it's a quarter inch hole through the ear canal and the base, so that way I can slip a microphone through it. Print, why, why an ear? Well, if you think about it, everything you hear is through your ear. So if you create a microphone that is shaped like your ear, it brings you that much closer to how you'd actually experience the sound. All I know is that this thing's got flexible material, and I got a 3D model of an ear, so let's do it. <laughs> Sale has turned out. Hopefully, it's not a complete failure. It doesn't look like it's a failure, which is why I love this fucking printer. Ooh, wow, it's like a polygon ear. It's like an 80s retro ear. This turned out really well, actually. Ooh, ooh, he's so squishy. Here we go, ear. Let's give you a little bath with your duckies. Well, that worked out really well. I'm gonna mark that as a success. I'm gonna go back to my computer, mirror it, and print out the other ear. I stopped using that door. Because if you use that door, you have to cut through, and then everyone sees you. This door is the fastest way in and out to the water. You hear that? That means there's someone right at the gaming consoles right inside the door. They're not, they're not at the computer. Wait, you're playing Silent Hill? That was close. It's all about making casual conversation when really your whole mission is for that goodness. Jake, can I have some water? I'm so thirsty. Yeah! It turned out really, really nice. It's very rubbery. It kind of like sinks in. You can squeeze it, bend it, twist it, and it kind of just like all reforms. Flexible material isn't quite like human cartilage, kind of soft. That being said, this is a lot more ideal than having a really brittle, hard ear. The acoustics of something that is soft and it can absorb sound is much different than a very hard, reflective surface. This is the closest approximation that we can build here to a person's ear. I guess the next step here is to clip off all this excess junk, all the excess supports, and test it out. Just imagine doing this to someone's real ear. <laughs> With pincers. There we go, there we have it. Got a little cleaning up to do on there still, but for the most part, there we go. Can you hear that? I've been expecting you. Can you hear that? No! no. This one! Right through this one? No! This one! This no. one! Please!
three and five. Test. Testing. Okay, something's wrong. Yep. Is it on me? Oh, this is me. There we go. It's on me. You're right here. Yeah, number three is the left. So how do I carry all this garbage around? I'm just gonna have to jank it like this and just hold it still. Okay. This is technically all functioning right now. Wee! Why, hello, Wee! how are you? Wee! A little sonic tour Let through the test. studio. Hey. Ooh, what an acoustic difference. I have no idea if this is even gonna work or sound right, but we'll see. So I'm gonna just listen to it. You'll hear it. Okay. It functions as intended right now. I'm pretty surprised with when you face the ears and the camera at a subject, the voice or the whatever subject you're looking at and focusing at with the ears is actually pretty pronounced. Instead of like hearing this stuff, you're actually hearing the stuff in front of you. You know, that's the ear's natural shape. I think the real test is taking the little mics and taking the ears off of it and just like having them sit there like yeah, facing outwards that, and doing like a blah, 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 blah and spinning around it and then putting the ears on it and then doing the same thing and hearing how it shapes it just a little bit differently. What if my ears were really out to there? People are gonna look at me so weird tomorrow. What's at stake if I don't succeed? My dignity.